Welcome to the first play of Citadel Forged with Fire. I was uh, lucky enough to be sent a key from Blue Isle Studios, thank you very much. And just need to adjust the sound a little bit. Let's put that music down a little. There we go. That's a bit better. A little bit more. Get everything down to 70. Okay, accept. Alright, so if I go join game, so this looks like an, RP, an online RPG. You can also play a single player. So these are the official servers. Let's see what, based on ping. So we've got Asia, Europe, all. So, okay, so the, we can have 10 players in a server, 64 players in a server. Now, US East, I don't know what server to play on. This doesn't really matter, this is, or well, we can play PvP or PvE. And I'm getting about the same ping, 280, 295, between US East and Europe. So, want a server? What does that mean? Citadel Forge with Fire Server Hosting. Wow, so you can host your own server for $1.45 per slot. And you can have 10 to 60 players instantly online. Huh. Available in Europe or Moscow. Okay, that's awesome. Anywho, back here. Let's just go. Let's just go normal. Uh, what's very fast mean? Let's go here. So we're in Wild Reach, US East, normal, join. Let's go. Let's try this. Let's give it a bash. So I'm pretty sure I chose a PVE server just initially. Access. Okay, create your character. So I'm going to be male, yes. Head type. I do like that with a big long beard hairstyle. Huh, I do like the scraggy look. Neck size, jaw size, shoulder width. Oh, look at that! Boom. Ah, uh, like yeah. Let's go a bit. Chest depth. Haha, <laughs> boobies. Halfway. Torso length. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Halfway. Let's just go halfway. Hey? Colors. What are the colors? Oh. Ah, uh, skin colour, hair colour, nail colours, eye colours. I'm a hazel, so I'm gonna go that one. Enter name. All baggins. Create. Yes. Alright. So we can go to rain court. So click click to select a spawn location, click and hold to drag the map, use the scroll wheel to zoom zoom. We can go to Raincourt, Heathcliff, or Eastreach. I like the sound of Raincourt. 
spawn here. I guess we are forged with fire. Hey pets. I don't know how to talk to you, but you're over there. Alright. So you're in the world. Oh man, what are all these? Pick up rune crystals. Man, there's heaps. I guess we pick up everything we want. It's a shit ton. You get XP for kicking up these. Level 1. I'm going to assume... I want all these. Uh, oh, third person. Oh, level two. God's K and C. K. What? Should I add? So I've got 100 health, I've got 10 damage. Let's add some damage. Oh, what is this? So I've got a stone head axe, woodland cloth. Do I click it? I've got three points to spend. What's this? Oh. Crowby cream. Oh, okay, so you can build maybe you craft food perhaps. Alright, well let's... Awesome. Amazing. And... Shinnick. Why not? Okay, so you can use three in all three areas. Alright, so if we go... Inventory, we've... Not got the things I've got. Okay. Item doesn't exist, okay. Spellbook, crafting. Man, how cool. Cloth, you need yellow pine. Alright. Oh, so you learn how to make that. Uh, okay, so you need five cloth. Okay. So I do need a shit ton of these. Seems weird. It'd be cool if there was a pick up area spell. I mean, not spell, but just you know, you hold down E, for example, and it picks up everything in the area. Give me your flesh. Okay, don't give me your flesh. Oh, did I just be out wood? Oh! Wow, so it's not just... Oh, what? Alright, C. Um... Carry capacity. Because we'll probably need that. Well, now that I know you can get stone, I'll, let's just get lots of stone and stuff. What else can you pick up? 
This is insane. What else is over here? Uh, hold down shift to sprint. Okay, okay. <sighs> oh, we can make a wand. So, wands. Solomon was a small and brilliant wizard who made his name in the Golden Ages. Famed for developing the telekinesis spell, Solomon and his wand changed the wizarding world forever. This wand is most effective performing ranged precision attacks. Okay, so ranged precision or area effect magic. Mm, ranged, ranged precision sounds good. Um, a throne, a fire pit, place on the floor to create a cooking pit. Probably need that. Gauntlets. Oh, cool. What's this? Social. Oh man, does that mean they're level 121? Nah, because I'm 294. Oh, I must be ping. You have tamed no creatures. Knowledge. Crafting. So how do you toggle what you can and can't? Spellbook. Choose a school. A oh, what? Right. Left mouse button. Hasn't done anything yet. Um, that's alright. So. Nothing else around there. Except for a million vagillion bits of wood and stone. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just let's just get some. It's a bit hard to pick up some of these. I'd love to get some cloth. Man, it's just. Ooh, quest icon. Alright, well let's... Now, what's my weight? Oh. oh, four. Plenty. So anything? Mushrooms, yes. Okay. Mushrooms, no, yes. Sometimes it's easier to go to first person. Now, yeah, more mushrooms. Oh yeah. Whoa, level four. That scares me every time. Capacity, I think. So it seems like I'm going to be picking up a lot of stuff.
Okay. Hello, miss. Speak with Lioness. Freshly forged wizard. Welcome to Ignis, young wizard. This is a dangerous place and you will need to be prepared. It is my job to make sure you are able to survive beyond the safety of our magic shield. First, you must be able to identify the resources you will use to craft weapons, clothing, spells, potions and your home. Find and collect stones and wood from the forest. I will use these resources to craft your very first weapon. Accept. Now. Complete. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Now we've got five points. So I think I think we should land that. At the very least. What's this? Steam veggies. You have unlocked a new craft recipe. Open the craft menu to access access it. Now I assume we're gonna have to learn to create something. But I do like the look of these things. But I've got these, okay. Um up to six magic properties. Develop why not? Why not? May as well. Alright, crafting menu. I can't craft cloth yet. Or hide. Can't do leather. Ingots. Ingots? Iron ore. Hmm. Alright. Let's just go into settings. Voice. Audio. Um, let's go push to talk. And then push to talk is the minus button. Gotta loop it now. Right, she wants a new quest. Now that you have some protection on hand, go out and collect some crowberries, ghost orchids, and mushrooms. I'll make them into a salad for you to take on your next adventure. Except. Alright. Now I have an axe. And my axe. And I cooked it. Nice. What's this? Oh. Magic find. Hunted. Nice. Craft and assign spells using the craft pack. So B. Wood. I don't want to place that. Oh, it's building. Huh. Okay. What's this? This. Each player has an inventory. That is where you can equip items to your character or consume food and potions. All right. So we want ghost orchids and crowberries. Ooh, what's this? Hey, we passed. Oh man. That's gotta be something. Ghost orchid. Boom. Good morning, all. Howdy. Game on. Exactly. Game on. Game on. Legends. Game on. Legends. Oh, nice. What does that mean? Oh, I got a crowberry. Huh. Yeah, right. Huh. How easy. Okay. 
to say nothing. Okay, let's turn it in. Complete. Level 5. Okay. H. Mm, I'm thinking. Carry capacity. Create a house. Houses allow players to build cooperatively within the game. Listed below are the houses currently on the server. Any pending invites will be displayed below. Right. Knowledge. Oh, I can build a conjuring cauldron. Let's build, uh, what's this? Pack of wooden windows and doors. Yeah, we need that for building a base. Wood stairs. Anything in here? Oh, bracelets. Magical amulet. Man, this is exciting. It's all new. Flags, nah. God, we definitely want a cooking pit. I think we want a conjuring cauldron. Oh. Oh, it requires two points. Fair enough. Oh, look for crafting. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, yellow pine. Craft. Oh, how cool. <sighs> okay. Uh, no. Weapons. Stone head axe. Solomon's. Wow. Oh, minus 38. Now, what am I using? Using 38 damage, right? And if I craft that, for example. Now, you don't know what you're going to get. So let's craft one anyway. Cool if it kept going tink tink tink, just so you know you're still still crafting. Boom, what I get. Oh, it's only fifteen. That's alright. What about World of Angle? Oh, you need those. I'll put a base down. That's wicked. Alright. That's cool. Um, next quest. Melee harvesting and spell essences. Collect one nature's essence which can be found falling around the green acid pools of Ignis. You can harvest these essences by striking them with any melee weapon. Gives you a wand, a light essence, dark essence, except. Oh, nice! I've got a map here. Now, how do I know where I am? Acid pool, acid pool, acid pool, enemy camp, Woodbank cave. Oh, what was that? Hmm. Now what is oh, that's a tutorial thing? Okay. So this is rain. Hey, level fourteen. This is 
cool. Each player has a knowledge table. Here you can learn new skills and recipes. Alright. What else is here? The world is lifted with dangerous caves, ancient ruins and more. Explore these at your own risk. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Each player has the ability to open an interactive map which reveals itself as you explore the world. Structures are constructed using build mode. Be sure to unlock some building blueprints from the knowledge table. Alright. Now, are they acid pools? What's this an acid? This is an acid pool. The crafting menu contains recipes and items such as weapons, clothing, and potions. I feel like I'm in the water. I am in the water. Uh, each player has a spell book. Choose a spell type and assign it to a slot. Arcane spells are free, but the most deadly and most advanced spells must be crafted with essence essences. Um, cone community is too small to team. Can't do with the game ad wipes. On cone, and I just made big ass bases. All right. Well, this seems like. Oh. I get it. Oh, pardon me. So this is a health pool. And this is a mana pool. That's what I reckon that is. Okay, now what are these? Yellow pine. Yoink. <laughs> so good. Oh, big ones. Oh, we got a heap of them. Hey, Dina. Hey, Dina. Hey. Oh, unlock fast travel. Nice. That's bright. Alright. So where am I? Okay, I am seem to be here. And I need to find an acid pool. Oh, you can hit that. Awesome. So is this a safe zone? What does this mean? Now, could this be an acid pool? I reckon it is. Oh, yep. That's an acid pool, alright. Yep, yep, yep. That hurt. Yep. And I'm poisoned. Huh. How are you supposed to do that? And dead. Now, what happens when you die? You have died. Respawn. Oh wow. Okay. Last death location. Loot still available. Spawn here. Alright. Now let's see. Oh man. Okay. Look at all the stuff that's still here. Right, let's get. So, did I drop every? I dropped everything. All right. Let's have another go at this. Oh, 
Hopefully I'm not in the bloody drink. Huh. Look at that. That's cool. Little. Okay. You can take that off the map now. Okay. Did I... Veiled... Huh. So I'm in the Shadow Cape. And I'm in a natural acid pool. And I need to get natural essences. Maybe it's hitting the rocks. Near it. Oh, hang on. What if I get my wand out? If I quit the wand... Oh, craft and assign spells using the spell panel. Uh, <laughs> oh, blast, area effect, self, utility. Let's do blast. And let's put. No one can contain durable fibers which can be used to craft cloth. The ghost orchids uh, can be eaten to replace or adds plus 2% spell energy to craft spells. 2% ranged. Alright, let's add to spell. Essences can be found throughout the world. Drop them here to change the very fabric of the potential spell, whether it be inf infused with ice, light, or fire. Uh, hey, I'm getting hit. What am I getting hit by? Hey! How rude. Oh my god. Killed by a dire wolf. Okay. That was so rude. Didn't see him before. Let's spawn here. Get my stuff. Man, they, they must just respawn. Surely. that bloody wolf. Oh god. I wish I had some spells that worked. Oh, I've got no bloody essences to make it, do I? No, no I don't. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, it's on cooldown. Oh my god. Killed by a ball, man. <laughs> this is funny. I was hurting that guy next to me. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm naked. I lost my robe. Well, I hope he doesn't loot my shit. I wonder if that's possible. <laughs> oh god. Yes. Wow. 
That's cool. All right. Loot all. That was the boar meat. No, is that me? That was yeah. That was me. Loot that. Yep. Okay. Now where did I die before? Maybe. No. I'll take it. Now it was over here. There it is. And loot Winning. Ah, oh, is it damaged? Oh damn! How do you repair? Huh? That's why I'm naked. Oh, cool. Adds up to one percent leech damage to crafted spells. That's wicked. So I got a light essence at least. Uh, I have to get a nature's essence. Now, can I go here and go... Pow! No, I can't. Mm, oh, maybe I can jump on this ledge here. Huh. Yes! Yay! That's how you do it. Alright, that's cool. Okay. Hey, good graphics. So maybe ah, uh, this is a protected zone, and your health regens. That's maybe that's what that little archon down the bottom left means. Okay, okay. Sweet. Sweet. Nice. So, I got a dark essence found around the healing pools. Use this essence to craft dark spells. A light essence found around the mana pools. Use this essence to craft light spells. Solomon's Wand. Ah, oh, my legs fell off. That's a bit strange. Alright. Now, spells. Oh, you can put an essence in. And it makes a light one. Now, let's not do a blast. We want area effect self. All right, let's do a blast. Yeah, where was I? I was putting pine in. That's right. One, two. What does it do? Adds a range and adds a leech. Uh, craft spell. Condemn. Strikes enemies and condemns them. For 10 seconds of damage dealt, the creature will be leached to the heal. Oh man, that's cool! <laughs> How good! Okay. Now, let's take that fancy new axe of yours, put it in your hand, and let's spell. Let's get spell crafting. Open your spells menu and select the blast school of magic. Pick a spell slot craft. Once your weapon is ready, go give it a few swings and bring me back some boar meat. Well, I've done that. Complete. Okay, they gave me a hat. Oh, nice. Um, don't know what else it gave me. Alright. Freshly Forged Wizard. Now, let's take that fancy new axe of yours, put it in your hand, and let's get crafty. Open your spells menu, select the blast score. I did that. Oh, wild boars. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Look at my hat. Oh, I'm a sexy man. I'm sexy like an animal. So, wild boar. Let's go find a wild boar. 
You, sir, are a wild boar. No. That is a wild pig. This is a wild boar. Boom. Robin Hood many tights. Okay. Oh my, is that a monster? No, it's a big ass mushroom. Where do you find boars when you need them? Now, yeah, how is my weight going? 13 out of 70. Awesome. I read somewhere that you should prioritize pack capacity. Huh. And get to 140. So that's what I'm doing. Now, where do you find boars? this add a rune to fill hold to fill interesting interact with the fire pit uh, no salted boar you need salt fair enough what about fried eggs no steamed vegetables no well salt's in everything isn't it okay how do you get salt that's cool. Alright, can I open your door? Ding dong. No. Fair enough. Man, literally, where is a boar when you need one? Oh, there's a wild elk. Get him. Let's do it. Um, oh, that's that. That was a horse. Oh, was that a horse? Can I tame it? How do you? That's a horse. How do you tame animals? Bindings. Um, I'm sure it, it will. Um, Toggle perspective, toggle chat. I'm sure it will teach me. Right. Where are these boars? Where am I in the world, by the way? Oh, I could go to that quest. Mm, cave, enemy camp. So intriguing. I want to try this spell out too. Hey, come back here, you wild elk. Or oh, horse. Horsey! No. Oh, there's a boar. Him. Yes. That was cool. That um that bloody um what am I saying? That leech was bloody good. Oh, tailoring bench. Oh I can craft leather. Let's do it. Ah, uh, you gotta pick it up. Loot it all. Cool, okay. Workbench. We can make mulch. Oh, that's close. Oh, level 20. Wheat grain. Snapdragon. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, infect with the forge. Oh, I can make a flawless rune gem. Forge several rune crystals to get the creator flawless rune. Used in crafting advanced items and structures. Enchanted stone. Magical structures. Huh, far out. It's pretty deep. 
Yeah, what's this one here? Conjuring Cauldron. Can't make anything there. Reade. Ah. Uh, there are. Huh. I sit in the throne. Nah. Um. Back to town. Now, what if I hit these? Wood. Hey, it does. It does re um, replenish your things. Mana and health. Complete. Okay. The way to any wizard's heart is through their stomach. Use your knowledge panel to unlock the fire pit found on the structures panel under utilities. This fire pit will be the center of your culinary world. Once you have unlocked the fire pit, open your build menu. This will show you where and what you are able to build, as well as the cost of the structure. I don't want to tend to all the fire wizards leave behind. So when you're ready, select the fire pit and place it outside of the shield wall. Okay. So that's what that shield wall was. Um, have I learnt it? I have now. Um, well, B. Magic. Uh, fire pit. Nice. Okay. This is interesting. Very interesting. Raven's Perch, Heathcliff, and Eastreach. Awesome. Alright, so I'm outside the sheared wall. Can I just craft it here? No. Yes, I can. Let's do it. Apprentice craft achieve. Place your first crafting bench. Alright. Uh, interact. Or was that it? Oh, okay. I just had to place it right there. Salt three, nice. Level six. Uh, 
before you leave my company to go into the wild, I will teach you how to cook some grade A salted elk. Using the raw elk meat and salt given in the previous test, go to your fire pit and make three salted elk. Okay, so we got C. Uh, carry capacity. And K. We've got three points. Food, rabbit stew, stairs, yeah, stairs, flags. Right, let's save those till we know what we want to build. This dude, smash him, level 28, let's not smash him. Hey yo, oh that's good, that's a good idea. Run back here and, um, here we are, here we are, that's cool. Now, my fire's gone out. Can I reignite it? Oh, it's back. Alright, so we want to make three salted elks. Wait. Oh, interact with loot. You have to pick them up. That's right. Alright. Can you pack away your fire? No. Now that's weird. What's that? Can you fight? No. Okay. That salted duck smells delicious. You take that with you out into the wild, you will need them. Remember, even the plants of Ignis are edible and can be turned into fantastic recipes. Now you must go spread your wings and forge your own path through Ignis. Bum 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 bum. Salted elk, salted boar. Oh, consuming will add paleo buff of plus one health regen for 30 seconds. Place in creature storage to increase loyalty time by 20 minutes. What is loyalty time? Tame. How do you tame a monster? Alright. Now, they then said once you've unlocked. Yeah, I don't care about the last thing. It says then to go to the other safe zones. Now. Let's go to the fast travel place. Oops, did I add a bloody... I did. Alright. Fast travel. And let's fast travel to... Oh man. Um, does that mean I can't? Uh, 
Okay, so maybe I need to literally run. Um, east. Let's go north out here first. It's going to be a long ass run. Daughter's awake. So I'll have to stream, end the stream there, guys. Sorry. Uh, Alright, well, that was a quick intro to Citadel Forged with Fire by uh, Blue Eye Studios. Thanks again for the key. I will keep playing this because uh, it looks like a lot of fun and it has good potential. Cool. Oh, so I will continue this playing this week and thanks for watching.